right, this is a weekly reading for Leo. Um, your two s songs are What's That? Um, Wizard of Speed and Time and Blues Traveler um, Runaround. So, interesting stuff. As you know, you feel like the Four of Cups. Uh, the Four of Cups is a version of imaginary flaws. Not wanting what is offered, a formal bad choice that um, influences all uh, future choices, a need for perfection, a stagnation period of life. So, there's something going on that kind of puts you in suspension. Um, I'm surprised that the hangman isn't in this reading, to be honest. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles for the week's theme, which is naive, innocent, um, progress towards wealth, um, personal gain, moving away from old ways into new growth and hard work. So, you might have to do some work. Maybe you're looking for a job. Uh, maybe you're looking for a side gig. Um, but the, you're looking for something that offers you a little bit more money for whatever you have planned with your life. Then we have the challenge, which is the moon. Deception in all its forms. Trickery, deception, um, conjuring, bad motives, um, dishonesty, false friends, false pretenses, unknown enemies, a trap, being led to ruin. So... There's something that you're just going to be naive to, that you're probably going to fall for, and it's going to be bad all the way around. And that's probably why you're looking for a job, and it might be a little bit hard. Anyway, it's hard to have 20-20 vision in hindsight, um, because it's either you do or you don't. So, a lesson to remember this week is going to be the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is loss of family security, gambling, burglary, and squandering of funds, um, financial burdens, um, re relieved, or retrieved. I don't know. My chicken scratch is terrible. Um, but yeah, it seems like you lost all your money, um, in one go. Uh, maybe you're a gambler, maybe you have addiction problems, maybe there's something going on that, um, maybe you have to pay alimony. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not you, so only you know what's going on. But all your money's in other things that is unattainable to you right now. Then we have the lesson that you will learn this week. Which is swords. A pain that feels like a violent death, a mental death, ruin, mental anguish, guilt that cannot be reconciled, trouble, and misfortune. So, mm, so maybe you did, <laughs> so maybe you did, um, spend all your money, belongings, stuff like that. And, um, it seems like a gambling thing, but it could be, could be a divorce thing, too. Um, maybe you got, maybe you recently got divorced. And, um, yeah, a lot of your stuff that you liked or that you purchased is going in other directions than staying with you. And this could be a big problem at the current moment. But the gift this week is going to be the devil in reverse. So freedom, bailing out of a bad situation, receiving help, um, overcoming obstacles, spiritual understanding, beginning on a path to enlightenment. So you could get enlightened that maybe you want to change some of your habits, some of your lifestyle choices. And um, try, try to be either more religious, more, um, like, working a lot of the time, or just something that would occupy your time that's not really on the addiction level. Some people, they just, you know, they like looking at calories, they like, you know, doing stuff like that to find what, what works for them, what diets work for them, and, um, stuff like that. 
there was a guy that had like an addiction to something and it was weird like he went from that addiction to becoming like almost like a nutritionist which was interesting I, I thought that was really cool anyway Leo um, this seems like it's all formality at the moment but um by next week I think it should clear up if I'm not mistaken I could be mistaken <laughs> Because sometimes, you know, you just get into a stagnant or a rut, so you just keep staying in the same type of thing, so I'm not sure. But for right now, it do does seem like a formality that you may need to make some lifestyle changes. That's all I'm saying. And um, hopefully everything goes right, because I've seen all your weekly readings go from good to bad to like back down to bad and it's like a weird cycle it's like you know not not a good year um <laughs> so hopefully it gets better anyway if you like what i'm doing on here leave a like if you like what i'm you know you can subscribe and if you have any questions comments concerns ideas for my next video leave them in the comment section and i know I give you a bad reading and then I'm being sadistic when I'm doing my closing. I know. Some people have told me that like face to face, my friends mostly. And they're like, it's so sadistic when you do that. Um, but I, I, I don't mean to do that. It's funny though. Um, because like, like I'm, I'm listening to myself like back on some of the tapes and stuff and I'm like, the end is my favorite part because it's so crazy sadistic. But yes, um, yeah, it took one of my best friends to point it out to me. Anyway, thank you for watching, Leo, and I hope this helps you out. Maybe you want to make some lifestyle choices. Small steps will maintain it, but any big steps, um, you know, you have to be committed. So, um, just keep that in mind, and I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye now.